Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can use our Nooker Shops Android application on your Windows system. Follow these simple steps as shown and you should easily be able to use the application on your system. I'm going to show you the installation process, tips to eliminate problems and additional information. So let's get started. The very first step here is to open the boot screen with advanced settings while switching on your device where the BIOS settings are visible. Here you have to click on the virtualization tab and enable the virtual technology. You will have to switch on your system normally after this. After switching on your windows, open your web browser and go to the official website of the Oracle VirtualBox download in order to download and install VirtualBox. On the first download page, click on Windows Host and download the VirtualBox. In the meantime, open another tab and download the Android x86 file. Go to the first link and download the Android x86 file from the first green button option. Download the Android ISO file based on your system architecture. Since I have a 64-bit system, I am going to choose that and download. Now open your virtual box. Here as you can see it shows that VirtualBox requires Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package in order to function. This requirement depends on your system so if you get this pop up like me, please download the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package from your browser. From the first link download the Visual C++ and install it. Click on Agree and Install. Click on Next, keep the default location and again click on Next. Click on Yes and finish the installation. Once the VirtualBox Manager opens, click on this new button to create a new virtual machine for our Android. Give your virtual machine a name. I'm just going to go with Android OS. Now choose the ISO drop down and select the Android x86 file that we just downloaded and click on next. Now we will give our virtual machine a desired memory. I have a 16 GB RAM so I will give it around 10 GB. You can also change the virtual CPU count here. For the hard disk I'm keeping the default settings and then finishing the setup. Now you can see the Android OS appears on the left panel. In the basic settings, change the type and version to Linux and Linux 64-bit. Now click on the system options and go to the processor tab. Here move the processor slider to the highest green point. Under the acceleration tab, keep everything default. Now go to the display option on the panel and give it the maximum video memory that is available. Here also enable the 3D acceleration. Leave the rest of the settings on default and click OK. Now it's time to start our Android machine and see. So click on the virtual machine and click start. You can see that the Android installation opens here. Now on this menu go to the advanced options and choose auto installation to the hard disk. To finish the auto installation click on yes and then OK. Once you see this blue and black screen with Android being displayed, it means your Android is booting. You are good to go if the Android screen appears here. But if you get a black screen here, we have to make a few changes to fix this issue. For this, power off and close the virtual machine. Now I am going to show you the steps to fix this black screen issue if you get this. To fix this, first go to the settings. Go to the storage option and remove the Android ISO storage by selecting the IDE controller and clicking on the small blue icon. Click on remove and then click OK. Now start your virtual machine again and you will land on the Android boot page. Here select the first option and press E on your keyboard. Now press E again and you should see this kernel line. In this line click on the left arrow to move towards the left side and here replace the word quiet with the words shown on the screen. That is no mod set x 4 say visa. Just type the same words as shown on the screen. After typing the command, press enter. Now in this box, make sure that the first option is highlighted and then press B on your keyboard to start boot. 
Now as you can see we are booting into the Android virtual machine without any black screen. You might get an Android setup screen here which you have to finish. I have already done it so I am landing on the home screen. Let me tell you that the black screen issue that we just fixed with the command is only temporary. Now to make it permanently fixed I am going to show you a set of steps. While you are on your Android home screen press Alt and F1 key on your keyboard to open the console. Here you have to type the command that I am showing on the screen. I messed up a little and typed it again but just type what is shown on the screen. After you press enter you can see 4 kernel lines. I am just making the window full screen here and then going to the kernel line of the first option. Press I on your keyboard to enter into the insert mode and here again replace the word quiet with no mod set x4 visa as we did earlier. Here we will also set the time out to 0. This is going to make the changes permanent. Now press the escape key to go to read mode and type colon w and q to save the changes. Now type reboot to reboot your android virtual machine. From here as usual open your android from this option to finally land on your android home screen with all necessary fixings. As you can see there is no black screen and your virtual machine works like a tab. In your android settings don't forget to enable android debug bridge from the android x86 option so that apps are compatible with our system. At this point we have successfully installed our android machine on our system. Now let's also install the Nooker Shops application. First of all we will connect to the virtual Wi-Fi that will appear by default in our Wi-Fi settings. Now we'll go to our mail where the apk file is present. I'm quickly finishing the gmail setup here. Now as we open the mail there is an apk link that will be sent to you. Click on this link and continue to your browser to download the app. Allow installation and other changes from your browser and then install the Nooker Shop sales application and give the required permissions. If at any point of time in the Android OS your buttons do not seem to get clicked, please press the tab button on your keyboard and this shall help. Here we will log in with our credentials and you can see that the application has successfully opened. Now I'll also show you how you can use an external printer for the recipe printing on your system. I have connected my printer to the system using a USB cable. Now I'll slide my cursor to the bottom where you can see this hidden menu. On this menu click on devices and then scroll on to USB options. You can find your printer in this USB menu. Click on it and now move on to the top right menu in our app. Click on settings and click on the printer tab. Here you can find all the printer configurations. You can also feed the shop logo, name, GST number and other details here. When you print a sample receipt you will get a prompt to allow the app to access the printer so click OK. Now I'll print a real transaction bill by making a new bill. Clicking on complete with print here will allow the device to finish your transaction with a printed receipt. As you can see here we have printed our bill and completed the transaction. Lastly I'd also like to show you how a barcode scanner will work with your system. For this I'm starting a fresh bill. As you can see here I'm scanning a barcode with a handheld scanner that is connected with the USB. As I scan the barcode the item is directly added to the bill. And the item quantity increases as many times as I scan the code. So that's it. Hope this helps and thank you for watching. Goodbye.